Plastics can be seen everywhere in our daily life. There are many cancelled plastic products around us. Plastics have low processing costs and low prices. They are light in weight and durable. They are widely used, have many excellent properties. People love it and it is widely used. Plastic is a synthetic polymer material which has the characteristics of good molding, field forming, insulation, acid and alkali resistance, corrosion resistance, and low air permeability, water permeability, easy coloring, and bright appearance. Since the 1950s, with the rapid development of petrochemistry, industry plastic has become an irreplaceable material closely related to life, widely used in many aspects such as home appliances, automobiles, furniture, packaging supplies, agricultural films, and so on. So far, the world's annual plastic production has reached 120 million tons. However, a large number of used waste plastics have brought huge pollution. With the increase in plastic production, cost reduction, and a large number of commodity packaging bags, liquid containers, and agricultural films, people have stopped using them repeatedly, but have used them as consumer goods that are thrown away as garbage and even large molded parts are eventually lost. It is thrown away as the product is damaged, making plastic representative of a class of products that are thrown away after use. According to statistics, 40 million tons of waste plastics accumulate in the world every year, and China has 2 million tons of waste plastics every year. A large amount of plastic has caused huge pollution to the environment and seriously threatened our ecology. The amount of waste plastic is astonishing and the vast amount of waste plastic is even more shocking. Plastic pollution is the accumulation of plastic atoms and particles, such as plastic bottles, bags, and microplastics, that adversely affect wildlife and humans in the Earth environment. The environmental phenomenon of plastic waste pollution is also called wet pollution. It refers to all kinds of household plastic products made of polystyrene, polypolyene, polyvinyl chloride, and other polymer compounds that are discarded into solid waste after use. Usually divided into disposable plastic bags, disposable lunch boxes, disposable plastic films, etc. Plastics are very difficult to degrade in the natural environment, but human beings continue to generate waste plastic in economic development and life. So a large number of plastics have been accumulated, which are littered and difficult to degrade, resulting in damage to the environment and serious damage to the environment. It pollutes the environment and causes problems for wildlife and their habitats, as well as for humans. Now I'm going to introduce the classification and identification of plastics. It categorized into seven categories, which is PET, HDPE, PVC, LDPE, PP, PS, and other. The thermoplastic of have four categories too. The standard plastic or commodities are plastics manufactured and used in large quantities due to their price and good characteristics in many ways. Some examples are PE, PP, PS, ABS. There are also engineering plastics used when good structural transparency, self-lubrication, and thermal properties are needed. Some examples are PA, POM, PC. The special plastics are they have a specific property to an extraordinary degree, such as PMAMA, which has high transparency and light stability, or telephone, which has good resistance to temperature and chemical products. The high-performance pro plastics, mostly thermoplastic with high heat resistance. In other words, they have good mechanical resistance to high temperatures, particularly up to 150 degrees, which is PI, PSU, LCP, etc. The first one, PET. PET is one of the most commonly used plastics in consumer products and is found in most water and pot bottles. In some packaging, it is intended for single-use applications. Repeated one increases the risk of leaching and bacterial growth. PET plastic is difficult to decontaminate. 
The second one is HDPE, high density polyethylene. Polyethylene is an in inexpensive, lightweight, and easily formed plastic with a wide variety of uses. It is most often used to make disposable foam drinking cups, take out clamshell food containers, eye cartons, plastic picnic cutlery, foam packaging, and those ubiquitous peanut foam chips used to fill shipping boxes to protect the contents. Polystyrene is also widely used to make rigid foam insulation and underlay sheeting for laminate flooring used in home construction. The third one is PVC. PVC is soft, flexible plastic used to make clear plastic food wrapping, cooking oil bottles, teething rings, children's and pet toys, and blister packaging for myriad consumer products. It is commonly used as the sheathing material for computer cables to make plastic pipes and parts for plumbing and in garden houses. Because PVC is relatively impervious to sunlight and weather, it is used to make window frames, garden hoses, arbor, and raised beds in trellises. The fourth one is LDPE. LDPE is often found in shrink wraps, dry cleaner garment bags, squeezable bottles, and the type of plastic bags used to package bread. The plastic grocery bags used in most stores today are made using LDPE plastic. There are also some differences from LLDPE and LDPE, which is liner low density polystyrene and low density polystyrene. They are structurally different, and in general, LLDPE is produced lower temperature and pressures. The fifth one is PP. Polypropylene plastic is tough and lightweight and has excellent heat resistant qualities. It serves as a barrier against moisture, grease, and chemicals. When you try to open a thin plastic liner in a cereal box, it is polypropylene. It keeps your cereal dry and fresh. PP is also commonly used for disposable diapers, pails, plastic, plastic bottles, tops, and margin and yogurt containers, potato chip bags, straws, packing, tape, and roll. The sixth one is PS. Polystyrene is inexpensive, lightweight, and easily formed plastic with a wide variety of uses. It is most often used to make disposable foam drinking cups, take cut clamshell, and food clean containers, art cartoons, plastic picnic, curry, foam packaging, etc. Polystyrene is also widely used to make rigid foam insulation and underlay sheathing for laminate flooring using home homing construction. The others are like PB1. The remaining plastic include the PB1 is also used commercially in films that require corrosion resistance such as insulation, compression, packaging. It also can be used as a layer or overall film for not filled heavy duty packaging tapes for bundling and holding loads at elevated temperature such as bill wrap, specialty sheet applications such as anti sheet, geo grease and netting and cable ties. A major ap application area for polybutene resins is seal peel or easy open packaging. The last one is ABS. Because of its good balance of properties, toughness, strength, temperature resistance, coupled with its ease of molding and high quality surface finish, ABS has a very wide range of applications. These include domestic applications, telephone handsets, hand computer, and other office equipment housings. Lawn, mower covers, safety belts, luggage shelves, pipes, and fittings. Because of the ability to tailor grids to the property requirements of the application and the availability to electro uh, lead bulb grids, ABS is often found as automotive interior and exterior train components. However, in the recycling shop, uh, there are th their workflow is collection, classification, and recycling. The classification, the we always cannot just recycle everything from consumer. So there's a process in classification. The original samples are like only the outside the white film plastic is made of PC and LDPE. It is very hard to recycle the compost material. The inside pipe is individually PS. They can be recycled. So before classification and after classification, different plastics made of different materials are being classified.
Marine debris seas threatens the survival of more than 600 species of marine life, including seal, turtles, and seabirds. Some died from swallowing plastic, while others drowned because of plastic. According to relevant data, the harm caused by plastic waste to marine life is four times that of oil spill. The harm of waste plastics to animals is mainly manifested in accidentally eating and scratching the esophagus, causing stomach ulcers and other diseases. It is estimated that at least millions of marine animals die each year from ingesting plastic, and at least 50 species of seabirds are known to like to swallow plastic balls because they mistake them for fish eggs or larvae. Sea turtles also swallow some plastic products as jellyfish, and fur seals like to play in with plastic fishing nets. Entangled to death on land, some Ruminants and birds swallow the plastic film fragments on the grass, which are easy to accumulate to in the stomach and intestines, causing intestinal obstruction and even death. Toxic chemicals in plastic seep out of plastic and come into contact with the human body through drinking water, etc., and are likely to cause what cancer, birth defects, compromised immunity, or other diseases. The incineration of plastic waste will produce harmful gases, such as the burning of polyvinyl chloride to produce hydrogen chloride gas, the burning of ABS acceleratrial and polyurethane to produce condensed compounds and the burning of polycarbonate to produce phosgene and other harmful gases. Among them, toxic gases such as toxins produced by the combustion of chlorest can not only cause of deformities and death of bees and birds, but also cause serious harm to the human body. Mainly manifested as disorder of liver function, abnormal reproductive system and nerve damage, and increase the inc incidence of cancer. On the other hand, when the temperature reaches 65 degrees, the harmful substances in the disposable foam plastic tableware will penetrate into the food, causing damage to the human liver, kidneys, and central nervous system. Plastic pollution will also cause huge economic losses and will also have a certain impact on the environment. After waste plastic packaging centers the environment, it is difficult to degrade, causing long-term and deep-level ecological and environmental problems. If the plastic is buried underground, it will take about 200 years to rot, which will adversely affect the pH of the soil, deteriorate the soil environment, and seriously affect the growth of crops. When they remain in the farmland for a long time, they will not only affect soil permeability, hinder water flow and crop root development, but also entangle agriculture machinery and affect field operations. Produced from petroleum, plastic is a fossil fuel that emits greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide from production to recycling. With the demand and production of plastics in today's world, the consumption of fossil fuels has increased dramati dramatically. There are three necessary steps to improving the problem of plastic pollution. In the short term, reduce unnecessary plastic products, 
in the medium term, recycling and sorting of waste needs to be strengthened to prevent this plastic waste from showing up where it shouldn't be. In the long term, it will take science to study how this plastic can be broken down in the most harmful way. Banning and restricting single-use plastic products is one of the most widely used and successful legal machines for governments around the world. Relevant policies and regulation have been promulgated to prohibit the local use of disposable foam plastic tableware. By taking both measures, the harm of fly pollution has been reduced to a certain extent. Part of success is due to the flexibility of injunction legislation, allowing exemption for medical products and other insurance use, while promoting the use of alternative products such as clothes or paper bags. However, from the results of practice. It's difficult to completely solve the problem of white pollution by prohibition alone, and substitutes cannot compete with ordinary plastic products in terms of price and quality. Therefore, under the conditions of a market economy, it's very difficult to operate only by administrative order without considering the adjustment function of economic levers. The biggest problem with dealing with plastic pollution today is how to find a way to degrade it. Authoritative surveys have shown that polystyrene or plastic degrades only in the range of 0.01% to 3%. In four months in soil, sludge, decaying garbage, or many or microbial communities. If the quality and speed of plastic degradation by these microorganisms can be enhanced, it will be a major breakthrough in the regulation of plastic pollution. Biodegradable plastics, in short, as BDP, are also known as environmental-friendly degradable plastics. Currently, the widely used degradable plastics include photodegradable plastics, biodegradable plastics, light plastics, and fully degradable plastics. The development of degradable plastics has enabled humans to produce plastics from relying on petroleum-based plastic to the use of bio-based materials such as starch, cellulose, and protein to produce plastics. Degradable plastics are an important branch of the development of plastic production in recent years. Conserving resources through responsible production, consumption, reuse, and material recycling without incineration and or landfilling is the best way to reduce plastic waste emissions. Clean waste pa- plastic packaging can be reused or reused for granulation, oil refining, paint making, building materials, etc. Recycling is in line with the general principles of reduction, resource utilization, and harmlessness of solid waste treatment. Recycling can not only avoid visual pollution but also solve potential hazards. Relieve resource pressure. Relieve it. Reduce the load of urban domestic waste disposal. Save plant and achieve certain economic benefits. But recycling should come before waste plastic packaging goes into the trash. Resorting waste plastic packaging from garbage dumps is not only time-consuming and labor-intensive, but also the utilization value of waste plastic is very low, because the sorted waste plastic products are too dirty and difficult to classify by material. The quality cannot be guaranteed. In summary, in recent years, when the Joint promotion of the United Nations and other international organizations and countries around the world. The control of plastic waste and microplastic pollution has become a hot environmental issue in the world today. However, there are still many people who do not understand the harm of plastic pollution. Therefore, we should improve the public's consciousness of controlling plastic waste pollution, increase publicity efforts, and strengthen the public's supervision of the government and enterprises. So as to reduce the harm of wide pollution to the environment, the special properties of plastic determine its use in life and work. 
With the development of science and technology, people have never stopped researching on changing the properties of plastics. It is hoped that in the future, by changing the properties, it can have a wider range of applications, and it can replace more special materials without causing pollution to the environment.